Okay, so how do we look? How do we look? Good, bad, indifferent? Eh. Let's check it out, guys. This wasn't a bad month. June was not a bad month. And you know what that tells me? It just reinforces that if we stick to our investment strategies, don't make any crazy, you know, way out there like changes, we'll be okay. It looks like things are starting to turn around, right? The last couple months, things are looking good. That's why I appreciate uh, the information I get from other YouTube creators like Rob Berger, Joe Kuhn. Those guys are in retirement, semi-retired, but it's the new retirement like I've talked about before. You can be retired from full-time jobs and still have something on the side. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. You're still retired from a full-time job. Those guys, they're doing what I'm doing with a bigger nest egg, that's for sure but they're staying the course. I appreciate wisdom like that. Be careful of some of the advice you, other advice you might get here on YouTube of people who are not retired yet, telling you how to do things, how, to, how not to do things. Be very careful with that, guys. You gotta vet the information, take in the good stuff, whew, throw out that bad stuff, all right? So here we go. Here is where I was. When I retired in August of 2021, as you can see, 548,000 total, there's the cash, there's the two 401ks, all right? So as I've said before, and for those of you who are watching me for the first time, I retired in August of 2021 with a little over $500,000 in my nest egg. This is a channel for people of moderate income, and I give these updates every single month to show how I'm doing. If you're interested in that, think about subscribing and like the video if you like it as well. So here we go. How did I do last month? On one 401k. What's that, honey? I should have this written down before I go on video, but there's no suspense in there. Whatever. Here's how I did on my other 401k. And here's where I was in cash for a grand total of a ba ba boom. That's where I was in May, at the end of May. 283 in one 401k, 121 in another one, 49,000 in my cash for a total of 453,000. As you can see, it was down significantly from when I retired, right? But not as bad as it was at the beginning of this year. Let me show you the percentage that I was down in both 401ks. One was a little more than the other because they're both a little bit different in their strategies. One 401k, I was down 13% from when I retired. The other one, I was down 19%. Now, as I've said in, and my cash is, well, I've already told you the cash. As I've said in other videos, my two 401ks are similar. They're both target date retirement funds, but they're a little bit different in their, in their allocation, okay? As I've said before, eventually I'm gonna go back up to a 60-40, 60, 60 stocks, 40 bonds allocation. These are a little bit off. They're a little bit different. So that's why one is down a little bit more than the other. Also, realize in these numbers that this includes the approximate Approximate $22,000-ish I took out last year because, number one, I needed to qualify for Obamacare. Number two, I also needed to show income in order to purchase a house. So these percentages are higher than the actual numbers of how my 401ks did because of what I took out, the $22,000. So keep that in mind, okay? So where are we last month oh let's check it out and it was actually pretty darn good you guys as i'm sure a lot of you have experienced as well this last month last couple months actually almost yeah you could say three months a -ba -ba boom one 401k i'm up to 290,000 now another one up to 124,000. my cash had stayed the same Okay, the reason for that is in uh, June, uh, my six month T-bill matured. I was able to take the $1,000 that I got from that, the profit, 
along with my YouTube earnings to pay for my monthly expenses. So I didn't have to take anything out of cash last month. Awesome, right? Gives me a grand total of $463,000. So I'm up $10,000 from last month. I'm happy with that, guys. I'm happy. I don't know about you. I think most people made money this month, right? I did. Let me give you the percentages of where I'm down now. Okay, yes, I know. I'm trying to do it quick. Thank you. Love you. There we go. Now, June compared to when I retired, I am down 10% in one 401k versus 13 last month. In the other one, I'm down only 17% from when I retired as opposed to 19 last month. Not bad, right? Not bad. I'm happy with that. And again, this includes the 22,000 approximate amount of money I took out uh, last year in my 401ks. And so far this year, haven't had to touch my 401ks. And thank you so much, guys. The YouTube income from the AdSense, the income that we receive as creators from the advertisements that are run on our videos is helping me out. I haven't had a dip into my 401ks at all this year. And with the sequence of returns that I got hammered with in the first year and a half, thank God. I mean, I still would have had enough, I believe, you know, because I go by the 4% rule and it was within the realm of that 4% rule. So I think I'd be okay without the YouTube income, but it helps me sleep a little bit easier. Also, T-bills. I've also got an I-bond that won't mature for a long time, but I'm gonna be putting my money back into T-bills next month so I can see them come to maturity next year to put it on next year's expenditures or income as opposed to this year's income, okay? So that's where I stand. YouTube income. Here's where I was, here's how much I made in April. $1,400, YouTube income, awesome. Here's how much I made in May. $1,800, I had a video that did very well in May. Thank you so much, guys, again. And here's my projected income for June. I won't find out the exact amount until probably the mid-July, mid but it's usually been pretty accurate, so. I had a couple videos that did very well in June. So I'm gonna be getting that in June. That's gonna be my highest amount of YouTube income since January, when I made, I believe it was about $2,300. As you can see, YouTube income really varies depending on the month. Depends on how many views you get. Basically, that's it. There are a lot of other avenues that creators use to, you know, to produce income. Some go to Patreon, which I don't really think is appropriate for my channel because do I really need money to make these videos? No, I get it for people doing vlogs like Craig Adams. I love Craig Adams doing his silent hikes through the Alps and everything. He needs a Patreon so they can help him finance those tours. Do I need it? No. Um, also, just to let you know, I've been contacted since we're over 20,000 subscribers now, I've been contacted by a lot of uh, brands that would like to sponsor my videos. So far, I've said no. The reason for that is, number one, I have to believe in them. I have to really believe in them. Number two, which is has the same amount of weight for me, these ads or sponsorships, when and if they come, have to be good for you. They have to add value to your experience as viewers of my channel. If both those two aren't met, I'm not, not gonna deal with them. There have been some pretty tempting offers too, but the product or the services they're, they're wanting me to advertise, just don't add up. It doesn't make sense. It's gotta make sense for both of us, me and you as my viewers. I have to add value. So there you go, guys. That's my June uh, up. Or Okay, here's another thing. I'm gonna put on the title. I know it's confusing because for this one, I'm gonna be putting July slash June update where it's really my numbers from June. So if you see that in the title, you're confused. Next year, I'm, or next month, I'm gonna go back to the actual month that the figures are coming from, if that makes sense. Hope it does. So anyway, there you go, guys. Just remember, stay the course, stay the course. We're turning this thing around.
We got this.